Okay. So we're going to start off with the little, um, I don't know, shape shorts, I guess you can call them, slip shorts. That's what it said on the, um, on the tag. But these I did not get from Timu. These I got from Burlington for $9.99. And while they fit well, I like how they hold me in. They are a little tight around the legs right here. So, yeah. But, I mean, I can still move. And I'm sure after, you know, wearing them probably all day, they will go ahead and loosen up. This at the top, though, um, it goes up midway. So, it does roll. Um, not bad, but it does roll. So, let me just show you guys how that looks now keeping in mind this little bra um strapless bra and then it has the little i don't even know what you want to call this but yeah that okay so i'm back i had to change the battery but we were talking about this little um strapless bra which i did get from timu so that goes in line with this whole whole little haul so here's the little strapless bra it has this little thing underneath it i'm not even sure what that's supposed to do like hold your boobs up or whatnot but my boobs hang so damn low this little strap maybe that's getting barricaded underneath okay so but we're gonna just let that live it looks fine to me i mean it hold them up enough so if I have on an outfit, you know, top that I need these babies to be held up, it'll work a little bit. <laughs> or as much as you can expect from a bra from Timu. Because I think this bra was like $5.98. But again, I did say I'm not going to tell the actual prices right now. I'll come back and put the prices either on the screen or I'll tell you guys them in a sit down. And don't mind me, I'm just chewing on some... Is it pecans or pecans? Either way, I got some. And I love these things. So anyway, first thing I'm going to try on is this shapewear. Well, this waist shaper. I have this waist shaper and then I have another waist shaper that actually wraps around your legs and your stomach. So let's first try this one. Now this shape... Yeah, I'm gonna try not to be smacking and whatnot. Mmm, so that's why this one's so good. This is an extra large, and when I actually tried it on, it was, um, it gathers at the top. So, and not to mention that I have a really short torso. I'm not tall. Um, I think I'm about five, three, five, four, something to that effect, but. My torso is even short, so. But, I mean, it holds you in for the most part, but it is a little loose. I could have gotten this in a large, which for the most part, everything else is in a large. If it's in an extra large, I think it's because um, they were out of large. And so, I just decided that an extra large would probably be, you know, could do the work as well. So I am on the third row already. I have three rows and I'm on the third row. So I don't have much room, you know, for like weight loss or anything because if I lose any more weight, I'm not gonna be able to fit it. Which I'm not currently trying to. I know I said I want to lose 10 more pounds, um, but if I can't seem to lose it, cause I don't know why I can't, but I'm still satisfied with where I am, so I just, I know what it is, is I've been eating a lot of carbs, I eat a lot of pretzels and nuts and things like that, and um, I know nuts are supposed to be good for you, but some kind of way, they just not, they won't let your girl go down them 10 pounds, I'm at 160, I think 166, I'm trying to get to like 150, 156 will even do me, but but that'll be 10 pounds, but for whatever reason, those last 10 pounds are not coming off. I started to drink me some Keisha K or tea, 
but honey, my daughter took some and if you can see right here where I said gathers at, at the top. So yeah, that part of it, um, I know I should have gotten a, uh, a large instead of an extra large. And I may go back and order it because it's not bad quality, you know, coming from Timu, but um, yeah, it's just a little big. So let me just get this on. All right, so this is what I'm looking like. And I'm gonna have to remember to keep looking at that record button because this camera, yep, I'm trying to record again on my camera, but y'all know my issues with that. It um, turns off after a certain amount of time, so. Let me just let you guys see how it looks in the back. So it holds you in, like I said, it cinches your waist. Um, all I'm gonna use it for is mainly at the gym. It does not roll, it's up pretty high. All right, it's already started. <laughs> y'all turned off, so I just gotta turn y'all back on. And like I said, these are pretty snug on the leg. So, but I don't mind, cause it will loosen up as most shapewear does as you wear it. So yeah, so let's go ahead and try the other one on. Let me get it on and then I'll be back. Okay, all right, so now I have on the, well, it works on two part or two of my problem areas anyway, on my gut area as well as my thighs. Um, so I really like this and that's why I ordered this one is because it wraps around your stomach. It also wraps around your thighs. So it's compressing that. Um, and I, I figure if you were to put them higher, then it would kind of lift up your bum, but then this wouldn't lay as flat as it needs to. So this is how it's supposed to look. And as you can see, because it has, it doesn't go all the way up. That's my problem is finding one of these that has a longer, um, you know, a longer torso area, but I have a little spillage up here because this is pushing everything up. So that's what it looks like. Um, you can see over here that it's not really holding that in. I would most likely wear this on top of or underneath my other waist shaper that does go on top. So let's try it out and see. So this is the one, but I'm just concerned now that because this one is extra large, that it may not, um, because I'm already sucked in a little taste, this one might not work right. Cause it's already too darn big. Well, you're gonna see. Okay. I'm gonna try to do this quickly so that I don't have a problem with the camera cutting off. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah. You can say it's pretty easy to put on, which it goes all the way up like I like. So. Hopefully, I can make this work. Like I said, it's just for the gym. I don't plan to try to wear it underneath my clothes or anything, so I'm not worried about it being bunched up or anything like that. I can actually, well, no, I wouldn't wear these shorts, but I do have some little shorts, and I can move in it pretty well. Do my little squat situation. Um, let's see. Okay. So I've gotten it all buttoned up. Let me try to pull it down a little bit just because. Okay, and see it's not tight enough up here where I really need to compress. So these straps would definitely be ticket for this area up here. But as I tighten this up, it unloosens some of these um, hooks. So, 
for, for the most part. And I will, um, again, put the prices either on the screen, in the description, or just come and tell you guys, you know, do a kind of little sit down situation and just show you all of the items and uh, give you prices. So this is what this looks like. I look like the Matrix, but I like the fit, um, you know, this plus the waist shaper. So, yeah, I think it's good, although, you know. Still working on that back fat. But you know, baby steps. Rome was not built in a day. So, okay. That is pretty much all. Well, it's not all the shape where it's just all the waist shapers that I have. Um, I do have. No, I got this other little contraption that I'm about to show you guys as well. So, let me go ahead and get out of this so that I can show you that. Okay, and uh, I forgot to tell you guys what size this is. This is a size medium. So um, they run like kind of big. So I did get this in a medium. Cause I did get another one that I didn't include in this haul, but it was from Timu as well, uh, black and pink one. And I think I got that one in a large or something. And I have problems with it um, as far as like around my legs, it you know, will gap occasionally, you know, just from doing regular treadmill or elliptical work so that one is a little big so i did get that one in a medium now the next thing i'm going to try on is and like i said you see how this folds down it rolls and that is a pet peeve of mine i do not like shapewear that does that so i don't know what i'm gonna use these shorts for but okay so this is the next item it is a i want to say compression thong or something but it has a little it has a zip I'm gonna come up a little bit so you guys can see and it also has the little hooks here it has the buttons or the hooks at the crotch area and then it also has the little not you know the uh, hooks on the sides so let me go ahead and put that on and I'll be back all right guys so I've gotten it on um, like I said, it has the little hooks on the sides, um, on both sides. So you can pull it as tight as you need it to go. I'm on the last hook in this as well. This is a, I want to say this is a large as well, but I should have got it in a medium. Yeah, it is a large. Um, and this is kind of, you know, even though it has the hook right here, the hook is not as tight as I would want it. So I don't know, I like this, you know, the whole premise of it. So I think I might go ahead and reorder it in a medium. It comes up high like I like it. Um, it has a little zip and that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, it does have the little hooks on the side. Mine is um, on the third, third hook, so let me just turn around so you guys can see it. And I do have on my little biker shorts, so I'm not showing nothing. But, you know, if I had it my way, this would kind of be a little bit tighter. And either I'm going to order it in a medium or I'm going to um, put some stitches in it. Like just sew it maybe in the back. Yeah, sew it up just so that it's a little bit tighter. These sides, um, it cinches you in pretty good. But... Again, I think I might get more, I don't know, because the tighter it gets, the more spillage I'll have at the top, my little muffin top. So for the most part, it's it's good. Um, I could wear it underneath pants. I could wear it underneath the dress. I like it. And this too, now none of the items that I got were over like 30 bucks. So. I'm sure this was probably in the range of like maybe $12, $15 or something to that effect. I just know that um, I didn't get, other than the little Faha that I got, I think that was like maybe $30.97 or something. But again, I will show you guys that. So that's, this is it. And I really, really like the, um, the whole idea of this pants um, or panty is what it's supposed to be. 
but um, yeah, like a panty girdle, a new age panty girdle. So yeah, so okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the other items and I'll be back. Okay, so I decided to just keep this on because the next thing that I'm gonna show you, now this I did not get from Timu. I got this from Burlington and it was just what, $4.99. Um, and I did get it to wear to the gym because it has like a um, like a made in bra or you know the um, I don't know but it's a size medium so you girl might have to do some struggling to get up in this alright so and I kept the little bra on as well but I figured that I could wear this with my um with either my workout pants or little workout shorts. I've yet to wear any shorts to the gym um, just because your girl's still working on these thighs. So I'm not trying to have all this jiggling all around. But I do like the fit of this. I don't know how I'm gonna like the fit of it once I take off the, you know, strapless bra, of course, um, for content purposes, for video purposes, I'm not gonna take it off because I don't want to do a nip slip or anything. So that's what that looks like. And I do like the material, it's very soft. Um, but this was the only one that I could find. If I, I could have gotten more, I would have. But um, yeah, you know how it is at Burlington, Ross and TJ Maxx, all those things, like it's hit or miss. So you can get an item and may not be able to find it again. So I wasn't able to find any shorts or um, underwear or anything that that matched it. But I picked this up anyway, so yeah. All right. Y'all know I'm gonna have to start using my little clicker so that I can make use of that and I don't have to walk up to this dog on camera each time. But okay, so this is a strapless bodysuit. Um, it kind of acts as my little shapeless bra does, and it has this whole lifter. I guess that's what this thing is. Um, I'm not on the last row on this, so that's great. <laughs> this is a size large. Now, I think it's supposed to like hold them up, compress something. I don't know, child. But this one fits well. I like how it comes up on the hip. So it kind of accentuates your hips and not make you so boxy. Um, that's one of the things that I really you know, don't like about shapewear is the fact that it could make you look boxy as well. This is what it looks like in the back. It is a thong. Um, for the most part, I like it. I did order a dress or two that I needed this um, strapless situation. So that was the reason why I got it, to have that all over compression. You see it is compressing well. Um, but I really can't tell <laughs> how well just because of the shorts. So most likely though, if I ever wear it, um, or when I wear it, not if, but when I wear it, I'll probably wear some shorts underneath it. If the dress allows, if not, you know, I'll just wear it like that. I'm sure it'll hold in enough so your girl can look snatched. But yeah, I like, the fact that it is strapless, it did come with straps, clear straps, so you can wear it with the straps. Um, the one thing that I do not like about it, and I don't know if you guys can see, but it kind of bunches right here, and that's because it has the little um, pads in the inside. So um, I'm afraid, like whenever I go to wash it, either I'm gonna have to take those like inserts out but I don't know how it would fit without the insert. I really prefer just to take them out and not have those at all. But um, yeah, I'll try it whenever I go to, you know, put these things in the wash. And so, yeah, y'all hear the doors? I tried to do this before they woke up, but unfortunately I got grandkids. Anyway, I like it, um, it fits well and this, I got true to size. Yeah, this one is true to size. I guess it could, but the tighter it goes, the more it looks like, you know. Okay, 
Okay. Get out so Granny can finish her video, okay? I'll call you when I'm done. Want to go bye-bye? Yep. Me too. You want to go bye-bye? Yeah, I'll go. I'll go to the class. I'll go to pee. I'll go to... What you gonna do with that? I'll do it. Okay. Was, All I'll right. I'll go I'll see swim you. in the pool. Oh, you wanna go swimming? Yeah, I'll just. Pull. This is not a bathing suit. This I'll, is Granny Shapewear. I'm gonna go to the pool, please. Okay. Yay. Okay. Go okay. tell mommy you wanna go. I'll do it. And go find your bathing suit. Okay. All right. And close my door, okay? Okay. I'll agree. Yep. Go get your green bathing suit. Yep. My camera, baby. Child. Anyway, we ain't going no damn pool. Now, it is hot enough, baby. It's supposed to get up to, like, heat index of 101. But it's also supposed to rain. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to no pool or the beach or none of that. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead and get the next little situation. Well, yeah. All right, I'll be back. All right, so more shorts. Now this is, I got this in an extra large. And again, if I got an extra large, it's just because they didn't have it in the large anymore. And I really wanted this, but um, you can see that, I mean, it has more room in it. Um, it's not really compressing all like it should, but this has the and I think it's called neoprene or something, but you know, the little shiny part in the inside where you can um, supposedly, you know, make you sweat. Let me just come up a little bit so you can see. So it has that all the way around, all the way around. And I'm already on the third row, of course. That's because this is a extra large. So this is what it's looking like in the back. I mean, I don't think it's see-through. I could probably wear this to the gym if I so inclined, well, I was so inclined to do so, but I don't know. Like I said, I have not been, and let me just hit my lips because they are dry. I told y'all that my lips have been seriously dry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so. This is what it fits like. I mean, it fits real nice. It doesn't have much spillage because it's not too tight. Um, of course, you know, I still got a little muffin muffin right here, but not nothing bad. Um, and then there's a lot of room in these. Um, so yeah, I like them. Um, I don't know if I would try to get a smaller size or if I would just keep this size, but um, there's definitely a little bit of room in them. But again, because they have that neoprene in it, it just sticks to the skin. So I actually like the fit. So yeah. All right. Next item. Okay. So I'm really gonna have to work on figuring out that timer because it's just annoying. Time I get ready to show you guys something, it's cutting off. But okay, so these are more compression shorts. Um, I like the fit of them. Let me back up so you guys can see. I'm in the mirror trying to look at myself, but of course I like that it compresses my inner thigh. That is one of my problem areas, as well as compresses my stomach area. Um, and these lift your butt. So I like that about these, you know, gravity has taken hold of your girl's bum. And so, I'm glad that these do have the little, um, you know, the little area where it holds in your, your butt or not really holds it in, but it shapes it up and lifts it up a little bit. So these are see-through, as you can tell. I have on underwear underneath them, but um, these are like, they have minimal rolling, but I can see that they're gonna roll as well. That's why I kind of like them higher up. So the higher they go up, the less likely they are to roll. Because right here is where all the, you know, fat is. And that's where it tends to roll from. So these I like. Um, these themselves are already in a shape where you can't really go wrong. Um, even if you had no hips, 
it would still give you a little bit of hip action. So for that, I like, um, of course, I don't need any help with my hips. It's the rear that I'm having an issue with everything sagging and whatnot. And these, it took me a minute to put on, but these are uh, a size large. And uh, again, I, I like the fit. They fit well. Um, from the side, from the front, and then again, from the back. Now, the next thing, I'm just gonna go straight into the next thing, which is this little compression vest. And um, I have a couple of these, but of course they are bigger because I was bigger. So I did have to get another one. And let me just see what size I got this in. Looks like a medium, but um, we'll see. Oh, here it is, the tag. No, it's a large, so it is a large. But let me go ahead and put this on. And I might have to get back with you guys because y'all know how this camera is set up. But I'm gonna try to just go straight to it. Okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so this one I might not be able to go to the third, but which is good, so it gives me something to work towards. I'm gonna just start at the second one and see how that works out. Cause I don't want it to roll up and all that. So, is that the third one? Yeah, that's the third one. So, yeah, I'm gonna shoot for the third. Again, just suck it in. Like I've been watching Briggerton lately and uh, maybe they used to snatch them girls to the guards with them corsets. So Briggerton me please. <laughs> okay, so let's see. And it is on the third one. Of course it gets a little bit tighter up in here. So if your boobs are bigger than mine, you might want to size up in this. Because your girl don't have that much boobage. So, I don't have too much to worry about, but. All right. Okay. Oh, see how it smashes you in? So maybe, it, oh, that's how it's supposed to go. That's why, child. <laughs> okay, so it goes under the boobs, I forgot. And so, oh, let me get this right. I play too damn much. Okay. So I got this little strap. We're not gonna put it too tight. Just enough to hold it in. And then the little bottom strap. So I kind of, I like the straps on all of the um, waist shapers that I've tried on because it reinforces the, you know. All right, so as I was saying, even if the compression is not there with the garment, it still gives you, you know, a little bit more reinforcement with these straps, so. All right. This does not come all the way down here. So that's one downfall that it starts about here and my fupa is here, right here. This is fupa, all this. So, I mean, with these shorts, it definitely holds me in. With any other shorts, I guess. So, let me just show you guys the back of it. So, and it doesn't do too much bunching either, just about right here where the shorts start. So I kind of like that as well. Put all that back. Come up a little bit so you guys can see it. All right, so. And I'm on the third row on this as well. And this is a large, so. Do my um, model-esque. <laughs> Anywho, um, let's see, what is the next item? Okay, so I can probably just go right into this too. 
This is for my arms, my other problem area. You guys know that I was going to get something for that area as well because I'm always talking about my bat wings. And then this little piece under here, bra, you know, that bra fat. Yeah. So let's go ahead and try this. All right. So this is a size large as well. Now, I do have one that I ordered from Amazon that I currently wear to the gym, but it is a extra large because I got these big ass arms and this big ass back. So, I said that because I was already in the extra large and it was kind of looking like it wanted to get loose, I said, why not just get one in a large so it can give me a little bit more compression. So let's see how this is going to fit. Ooh. Uh, it is significantly tighter. I will say that, but that's what I was going for. All right. And so. So I put it on the third, cause it has a little bit of stretch, a lot of bit of stretch actually. But as far as the arms go, it fits nice and compressed. I'm trying not to poke a hole in them with this, these nails. Um, okay. So, comes down a little bit. So it's holding in the little arm fat underneath my bra area. And it's holding in my bat wings. Um, and it's kind of holding my back in as well, compressing me all up. So I definitely like this. So yeah, I think this is a win. A win-win. My arms area. Look like I got a little bit of lipo in these puppies. <laughs> All right. But it is still kind of, you can still see it, you know, hang right there. So, I mean, it's going to do what it's going to do. But um, I wouldn't have gotten a size smaller because I don't want to be compressed to the point where I'm going to pass out. All right. So let's go ahead and get on with the get on. Okay. So these I got, they did come in a three pack. So you got the chocolate brown, the taupe color, and of course the black. And these are just kind of like those the infamous little, um, I'm going to try on this one because I'm going to put it right over this. And so I want you to, get, to be able to see it. But it's kind of like the little TikTok. These are in a large as well. The little TikTok bodysuits that been advertised all over the place. So let me just go ahead and squeeze up into this. All right. I'm putting them right over these shorts so we're not showing too much skin. All right. I do want to get true to fit because, of course, I'm already in these shaper shorts. So that's compressing a little bit in. And if I'm being honest, these kind of give the boxy look. And maybe that's because I got on the shorts, but I like my, I like high waist or, you know, on the sides. But definitely smooths you out. Um, be nice underneath a dress or something. So again, this did come in a three pack. And I think I mentioned that this is in a size large. So there's that. I did also 
order the one from TikTok. So I have that one as well. That one is a thong. Um, so I can't try it on on here. Um, I mean, I could just try it on over my shorts, but um, I don't know. I'll let you guys know, I guess, whenever I do wear these, if it's comparable to the... Um, and it could be the same one because y'all know that all of this stuff pretty much comes, you know, overseas, China, or wherever it comes from. And I think that's where a lot of that stuff from TikTok is coming from as well. So I think it'll be comparable. So yeah, this I like as well. I mean, I like anything that's going to smooth me out underneath my clothes so I'm not looking like the Michigan girl or Michelin. Yeah, Michelin. I remember that Michelin uh, commercial. Anyway, that's who I'm not trying to be. And so the next couple of items, I'm trying to hurry. The two next two items are Fajas. So I'm going to have to take off my um, shorts because they are going to get real tight. And so, and I got both of these Fajas from Timu as well. So stay tuned. Okay. I'm in it. Took me some time, but I was able to get in it. And this is a large as well. Now, um, it's not see-through, so I'm going to turn around so that you can see the area that they have cut out for the butt. Of course, um, I did have to pull up on the foop so that it's not just sitting down here. But, um, yeah, let's see. It has the little... Um, what do you call the elastic stuff or silicone or whatever it is at the leg part so that it doesn't roll up. I never really have a problem with any of my, um, you know, shapewear rolling up anyway. I don't know, it just doesn't. So this is what the back area looks like. So it's giving me a good little lift. <laughs> so I definitely like that about the um, about this Faja. Um, it compresses this area, if you can tell, which is what most likely is given whenever you put on a, um, you know, when I think whenever they get like a BBL or something. But yeah, this is it. It also has a zip in the crotch. Okay, so here is the last and final piece of shapewear. Um, don't mind these, these my skivvies. But I had to put these on because I don't know what's going on with this. I mean, it comes up as high as I like it. There's a lot of room in this one, I will say. And that's just because this is an extra large. So I have a lot of room in here. Um, this has a opening clear from here all the way back. So I had to put these on to, you know, not get kicked off of YouTube. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's pretty smooth to the touch. Um, I guess I could have gone with a large instead of an extra large, but of course they did not have a large, so I decided to get the extra large. Um, but I probably won't gravitate towards this one. The only reason why I got this one is because I have one similar to this. Um, has a lot more compression in the stomach area though. And um, a lot more in the thigh area. But this one is smoother. It's easier to put on, of course. But I had a hard time just trying to figure it out. But I'm going to just try to see if I can let you see all the way down. But the um, hooks go all the way down. And pretty much it's like once you take the hooks off, the rest of it just falls apart. I don't know how it was made, but it has a very long slit in it. So, like, Miss Kitty was hanging all the way out. And, uh, yeah, as I stated, I don't want to get kicked off. So, that's it. Um, stay tuned, guys, for the next haul, which is going to be, or haul, try on, whatever you want to call it. But again, ooh, I'm got some boob slippage or something. No mail.
okay so um yeah be on the lookout for that um i do have quite a bit of outfits i have a bathing suit some pajamas a couple outfits so i'm trying to figure out what is going to be the best undergarment for it now of course some of the dresses do have like a peekaboo kind of see-through cut area so i'm gonna have to try to figure out what shape where it's going to work best with that but yeah stay tuned and i will be back i just want to make sure that i'm not missing anything oh i did want to show you guys that um i do have this oh no i do have one other shapewear piece so i will be trying that on in just a moment but this is like a sauna suit i have the shirt as well as the pants now this is an extra large so it is too big too big um but I can probably still, you know, get the job done with it. It's still going to do what it's supposed to do. It has the little neoprene stuff in the inside as well. The little silver foil-like. Let me come up a little bit so you can see it. Has it in the pants as well as in the top. And I did get this again from Kimo. So that's it. It has it all throughout. Even on the sleeves. So this is a good sweatsuit, you know, to make you sweat. However, I just, I would like for it to have fit a little bit more snug. But um, yeah, even with it not being that snug, because it has that little sweat material on the inside, it'll still make me sweat pretty good. So let me get the last outfit. I thought this was the last, but let me just put the last one on. Now, and keep in mind, this last piece that I have, I do have two of those. I have it in black as well as brown. So I'm gonna just try on the brown one. All right, so let me see. All right, so let me just go ahead and put it on and I'll be back. All right, so here is the last, last item. Last but not least, like I said. All right, so. As I was stating before the battery went dead, you know, these batteries don't last that long. I just, I know I haven't been doing this for an hour. Anyway, this is the last and final body shaper. Um, I think out of all of them, I'll probably get the most wear, probably out of this one or, and or the little shorts. But yeah, it smoothed out everything pretty darn well. It even gets my little back fat, most of it anyway. And it lifts your bum as well. And it holds me in pretty darn well, as I stated. So this one, it comes in um, this color as well as a black. I did get both of the colors. Um, for a few of them, I think I got multiples. Um, oh, my eye. I sit there and laugh about to come off. But anyway, stay tuned for the next um, try on video. I'm gonna be um, trying on the outfits. So I'm gonna just, let me find the best shapewear that I'm gonna need for each of them. I don't know which, I'm probably just gonna keep the same one on to do the entire try on. And um, that way you can see what it looks like, but most likely I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna be able to wear the same ones with every outfit just because there are some um peekaboo slots and then there's a couple that are kind of midriff of course I do have high waist because I'm not delusional Ugh. you're thinking that my waist is all as snatched as I want it to be um although I am proud of the little weight loss that I have had and been able to maintain. And then, oh, let me just show you these two gadgets, which these are just some thigh compressions. I have some other thigh compressions that I got from Amazon. They're nothing like these. These are just typical, um, let's see, right here. And then you just kind of snatch it snatch it so I mean I could just wear the other little gadget that I showed you guys earlier 
that goes around your waist as well as your legs. But these are just to, if you don't want to, you know, wear all of that and you just are looking for something to compress your thighs, you can always wear these. So I thought these were pretty neat. I do have some arm ones as well. So expect to see me looking like Robocop. So, all right, stay tuned for the next video. Like, comment, and always subscribe. And, and I will see you guys in the next one.